Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything is good wherever you are. Uh, guys, bear with me. Uh, a lot of videos this week talking about the big fight, um, talking about a lot of incidents around the issues. Don't worry, next week I've, I've pre-recorded uh, a lot of videos that will be uploaded about Shakur Stevenson and Lomachenko, fights that I want to talk about. Uh, but as of right now, uh, let's milk all these news coming out about Canelo. Uh, also, Joshua Usyk, I've done a video about that. That's going to be uploaded next week as well. So stay tuned. So don't worry about it. I have got the content recorded prior and it will be released all next week. But this week is Canelo week. So we've got to talk about him and we've got to talk about things that are being said in the media about him and fights surrounding around him. So I will be doing a lot of topics about Canelo, but not same things. So we've covered the Usyk situation. There's other situations that we cover just to make you know not not all it be about canelo bivol but eddie hearn has made some comments that jamal charlo doesn't deserve a um a canelo alvarez fight now i'm gonna go into what he said uh eddie hearn said that jamal charlo has fought nobody uh he's absolutely fought nobody and canelo alvarez fights for belts he fights for he fights for world titles he goes apart from yield dream he fought everybody for a world title jamal charlo doesn't really bring anything to the table so why should uh he fight uh, Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo is uh, has, doesn't bring anything to the table, basically, is what he's trying to say. Um, I agree with some of it. Like, Jamal Charlo doesn't have a title uh, that Canelo is interested in. He's a t champion at middleweight, but Canelo's never going to fight at middleweight again. Uh, so, really, Jamal Charlo doesn't really bring anything to the table in terms of a world title. And Canelo's all about legacy. However, what I don't like is when Eddie Hearn says that he hasn't fought nobody because there's many guys that Canelo has fought that haven't, you can say that haven't fought anybody. You could potentially say that, um, you could potentially say Billy Joe has fought nobody. Who did he really beat? Lemieux and Andy Lee, you know, but they're not really stellar wins, you know. Um, not, not, not one where you would say like Charlo hasn't had wins like that. Charlo beat Austin Trout. Charlo beat um, what's his name, um, Dervianchenko. Charlo beat uh, Matt Korobov, even though that fight was close. But nevertheless, he's got names on there. Charlo actually, the crazy thing is, is that Charlo's actually got a better resume than Caleb Plant. Now Caleb Plant had a title. I get that. Them guys had a title, but in terms of in terms of who did they fight, they fought nobody. Caleb Plant hasn't got a better resume than Charlo. Charlo's got a better resume than Caleb Plant. So from that angle, it doesn't make sense. Because look, I, I say it how it is. You guys know I say it how it is. Uh, but Charlo hasn't, like, don't get me wrong, Charlo hasn't got a great resume. But neither has a lot of the guys. Like, Bivol hasn't got a great resume, really. He's got a belt, don't get me wrong. But he hasn't really beaten anyone. He hasn't really, like, you wouldn't say he's got a great resume. Like, yeah, he beat Joe Smith. But, you know, Joe Smith, no disrespect. He's not, you know, he's not a, he's a champion. At, like, well, everywhere. But let's be brutally honest. You guys, and, and we know that Joe Smith isn't, he's an elite. You know, he's, an, he's a decent fighter. You know, um, I was looking back at the live, you know, the stream and, uh, you know, a lot of you guys don't even rate Smith. You think Batabiev going to destroy him, you know, in a couple of rounds. So the point I'm trying to make, I'm not, tr look, I'm what I'm trying to say is what Eddie's got to realize is this, that the Jamal Charlo fight's a massive fight. The Dimitri Bivol fight, look, Dimitri Bivol's a harder fight for Canelo. And maybe from a legacy standpoint, it means more. But Jamal Charlo's a bigger fight. I don't even think you guys will deny that. I think you guys will agree with me that Jamal Charlo's a bigger fight. Jamal Charlo makes more business sense. So when you look at it from a commercial point of view, you can't tell me Dimitri Bivol is a bigger... Jamal Charlo v. Canelo would be massive. It would be massive. Imagine, imagine right now fight week. Imagine how big it would be if Jamal Charlo was fighting. I know some of you are going to say it's not a competitive fight. It's irrelevant. It, it, sometimes, not necessarily the competitiveness of the fight get you, um, get you excited as much if a guy that is not charismatic or got the name or got the uh got the fame but charlo's a big name he's a big name whether you yeah i know you guys are gonna say well charlo's no good numbers but trust me with canelo that fight would be way bigger than you put canelo bivol right on pay-per-view uh, that probably does about the same as plant seven eight hundred thousand paper you put charlo canelo on pay-per-view uh that's going over a mil without question that's going over a, will, a mill. You put an African-American uh, fighter against a Mexican fighter, that is going to do huge numbers. Especially an African-American fighter with, with personality. Charlo's got 
personality. He talks well, you know, he gets people... Uh, uh, look, Charlo's a big name. Everyone knows Jamal Charlo in boxing. We all know who Jamal Charlo is. You know, a lot more people know who Charlo is than they know who Dimitri Bivol is. Uh, that doesn't mean Dimitri Bivol for me is a much harder fight, a better fighter. But the point is, is that we're talking about the size of the fight. You know, now I know some of you guys are going to say, well, Canelo's not... But no, no, sometimes it's not necessarily how hard a fight is. It's about the... It's about the event that also adds to legacy. Do you understand? It's sometimes, you you know, a fight might be not that good. Like Mayweather McGregor, that doesn't add to Mayweather's legacy. But look how big the event is. Look how big the... the, the and, and let's be honest, Mayweather, I mean, Charlo and Canelo would add to Canelo's legacy. It's not like Mayweather and McGregor. This would add to his legacy because Charlo is actually a good, decent fighter. You know, so yeah, Canelo would be a massive favorite, but Canelo's a massive favorite. Canelo's a favorite against whoever. So, Charlo's still a big fight and a good fight. You know, it's still like I, I would love to see Canelo fight Charlo because I think Canelo beats Charlo, but it's still a big fight. You can't deny this. You know, there probably isn't a fight bigger than Canelo Alvarez and Jamal Charlo from 160 to 175 for Canelo from a business point of view. I, I don't think there is. I think the attention that that fight would get. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's another fight at, from in those divisions. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Benavides. Maybe that that would. And and by the way, I don't think either guy. Look, you guys think Benavides has a shot. I don't think any of those guys beat Canelo. But the fact is, I'm talking about the size of the fight, guys. The you can't deny the size of those fights. You guys know that Charlo is a bigger fight than Dimitri Bivol. It's a bigger fight commercially. So you can't ignore a fight that is a, a fight because if it's a look, the reason it's a bigger fight because that's what the public demands. If I'm saying that, look, I'm I, I've been following boxing for a long. I'm telling you that I, I believe that Charlo v Canelo is a bigger fight than Char than Canelo v Dimitri Bivol. Forget about what's more competitive. That's irrelevant. I'm telling you what's bigger, and if it's more bigger. That means there's a public and boxing fans demand that fight or demand would demand uh, uh, would de would demand that fight. And I, and I know some of you might disagree with what I'm saying, but I'm, I, I, I can't I don't agree. You can't tell me that Dimitri Bivol is a bigger fight than Jamal Charlo. It's just not irrespective of whether Jamal Charlo is not competitive, irrespective of whether Jamal Charlo is not um, uh, for anybody. Th that's all really irrelevant. The, the fact is the fight's massive. The fight between Canelo and Charlo is, is huge. Let's, let's just be brutally honest. It's a big fight. I don't think anyone can deny that. It would be a big, big... Imagine, like I said, a, a, a fight week Charlo Canelo. Imagine how big that would be. You Just imagine how big and how, how many people would be excited and talking about it. How many people would be going back and forth on social media. How many fans would be debating about the fight. It's not the same with Bivol. It's not the same buzz. Someone was saying that, you know, this fight it doesn't have that kind of big fight feel. It's not that. It's just that Dimitri Bivol doesn't have that kind of personality that someone Char that Charlo would bring out of Canelo. Not to say Charlo would disrespect Canelo like that. I don't really think Charlo would. It's just the fact that Charlo has personality. Uh, he's known more. He's more famous. You know, he, he, people want to know about Charlo more than Bivol. Um, unfortunately, that's just how it is. Sometimes it's not about how good you are, guys. It's about how famous you are. You know, Teddy Atlas mentions this. Sometimes it's not all about how good you are. No, 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 sorry, not Teddy Atlas. Barry Hearn mentions this. Eddie Hearn's father. That it's not, it's not about how good you are all the time. It's about how famous you are. Right? It's about how famous you are. There are certain fighters that made, that made 50, 60 million dollars net worth that probably maybe don't deserve that kind of money that they made. But there's certain fighters that were great fighters, like Andre Ward, maybe never made twenty, thirty million dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is what I'm trying to say. And Andre Ward was a great fighter, but he wasn't really that. He wasn't. He wasn't really that. You know, famous. Let's be brutally honest. He wasn't that famous. He didn't have that. Like Mike Tyson. You know, Mike Tyson probably all as an all-time great, maybe not be greater than uh, uh, Andre Ward. Even though I know they're different weights, but I'm just saying pound for pound. But. Mike Tyson is the second most well-known fighter of all time, after Ali. You know, globally all over the world. Why? Because he's excited, he's starting, his style was exciting. You know, he also was charismatic. He was out there, you know, and people, they were drawn to Mike Tyson. 
So sometimes it's not about it's not about how good you are. It's about how famous you are. And Charlo is more famous than Bivol, and probably more than any any other uh, any other fighter from 160 to 175. Look, Andre's the same. Andre's kind of pumped up uh, um, uh, pumped up a fight between Canelo and and himself. Right, and that that's made it big. But Charlo just has the personality. Charlo's just more well known. He's more he's he's just more out there than Andre. People uh, are more drawn to Charlo than Andre. Andre is just not, you know, he's just not that that well known. You know, whereas Charlo kind of has it, even though he's not a mega star or he's a pay per view star or nothing, but. He just has it more. Like there's more chances of Charlo becoming a pay-per-view star than there is Andre because he just has more about him. You know, Charlo just has more up, up to him. You know, he's more of a star. He's more of a star personality. So th that's what I'm trying to point out, man. Um, but look, it is what it is. I just think I don't agree with Eddie about the fact that Charlo doesn't deserve the fight. Uh, I think, I think. Charlo does deserve the fight on the merit that I think it's one of the biggest fights that Canelo can have from 175 to 160. The reason why it's one of the biggest fights because that's what the public demand. It's not a big fight because it's not not a big fight. It's one. It's like you tell me another bigger fight, 175. Well, like Baterbiev's a good fight. It's probably the best hardest fight for Canelo. But is it a big fight? Is Baterbiev commercially a bigger star than Jamal Charlo? Let's be honest. Let's be brutally honest. Yeah. People say, well, Bivol and Baterbiev would beat Charlo. Of course they would. But that's irrelevant. The fact is I'm talking about the size of the fight. I'm talking about the stature of the fight. I'm talking about how big the fight is. And if the fight is big, right, the reason why it's big, because public demand it. So the only fight that potentially I think could be bigger than Charlo is Benavidez. But I don't think there's any fight bigger. I don't. A lot of these guys that you think like Bivol, Baterbiev, they're not that well known. They're not that well known at all. Not to say Charlo's a, a global superstar or nothing, but those guys are, are, are lesser known than him. And most importantly, Charlo's have, they have, they're charismatic. They have that energy. They have that personality that even though there'll be a lot of people that dislike them, but they draw a lot of attention. And like I said, boxing's not always about how good you are. It's about how famous you are. You know, so that's that for me is um, very important in boxing to be a household name, uh, to be somebody that is known because that's where that's how you that's how you get these big fights. That's how you get, you know, people talking, saying your name, call, you know, that's that's what boxing's about, really. That's just my opinion. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let you know, leave your thoughts uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.